Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary. This is Rosemary's You Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you. I truly appreciate it. If you are checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. I've completed another junk journal. This one is a little golden book, Dinosaurs. This was a special order. So the person that ordered I Am a Princess Little Golden Book Junk Journal also ordered this one. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what I did inside. And here is the flip through of the little golden book, Dinosaurs. This is um, an order. And uh, again, I'll, I'll go through what I've done. This one has a just a simple hair tie. This is going to be for a little boy. And so I didn't want to make it frilly. So it's just a plain hair tie. It is a one inch cinch rings. And then for the dangle, I have a lobster claw, a little tassel that I thought the color matched, and a little dinosaur for the charm. Let's see if I can get the little dinosaur right there. Um, so for this, uh, for all my little golden books, I keep them in order. I keep the story intact. And then I also, when I'm taking the book apart, I heat the foil, peel it off. And then when I'm putting the book back together, I put the foil back on and it goes uh, on the front cover only. If you can see how I did that, I just wrap it around because originally it's wrapped around the front and back, but since it's cinched, that's no way, that's not possible to do. For this particular book, I've done this in the past, I tabbed this one. So here is the tabs. Let's see if I can show this in the right way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, one through nine right here. I left a little space between 9 and 10, 10, 11, 12, uh, because I want the hair tie to sit right there and not crush these tabs. And the tabs take you right to the story, just the story and not the pages I added. So that's why I did that. All right, let's look in here. I don't usually put anything on the front cover, uh, front and back, because I like to keep it uh, original. Now, a lot of the pages I put in here, or I added in here, come from another dinosaur book that I just took apart and used pages and images from. So this was the title of the other uh, book I took apart, and I just thought it'd be kind of a fun flip through, or kind of flip, kind of fun flip. Um, I had this material that I got from Dollar Tree, and it had dinosaurs on it. If you can see all the little dinosaurs on there, I laminated that. Uh, fabric. I cut it to size and laminated it. Uh, then I added these embellishments, this dinosaur uh, that says dinosaur, the dinosaur here, and uh, those stickers come from Dollar Tree. And then this sticker, um, I was gifted, and I have no idea where I got it from, so I just added that. On the back page, there's a little pocket, and in the pocket, there's this little piece of paper that can be written on. And then there are these journaling cards that all look like this. And they're all to do with school. Like this one, I think, says, oh, uh, let's see. Oh, I'm not going to read. be able to read what it says. Uh, or this, this desk belongs to. So they have everything to do with school. And I wanted to do that because this is for a little boy. And I thought that would be kind of fun. So you'll see other uh, cards in here that say uh, library card, hall pass, that kind of thing. And so that's what I included there. Here's an envelope that I stenciled a dinosaur on. I don't have anything in there. Here's your first page. Here's your second page. Again, see they're tabbed. Here is uh, a page that I created and it's a flip through so they can journal here. Here's a pocket, and here's some of the more some more of those journaling cards I'm telling you about. This one says uh, report card, and and then there's another practice writing page. So those get tucked in there, and then on the front, uh, I bought another mobile from Dollar Tree. One was 
full of princess images and another one was just dinosaurs. So I cut those dinosaurs and that's what I'm using for some of these embellishments. So I put a little dinosaur there and right in here. This is um, a page that I sprayed with alcohol sprays and uh, then I stamped the dinosaur right there. This is from the uh, other book I took images out of to add to the little golden book. So here's a, just some pictures of some dinosaurs. Here's the little golden book page. Little golden book page. Here's a pocket I created and I'm including all these puffy little smushy stickers with this. So um, the little boy receiving those can have those. Here's a pocket I uh, created right at the corner and then just leaves that dinosaur eat or plants. And then you flip this and here is another pocket. And in this pocket, I have a flip, a tag flip. So this is from the mobile that I took apart. Here's a tag, a tag, a tag, another tag. So I added just a bunch of tags that I thought the coloring went well. And let's see, a few more tags. And this will be fun to journal on, write on, scribble on, whatever this little boy wants to do. Here's another page that I distressed with alcohol sprays. Here is, let's see, this is not sitting. Okay, here is a page of the other dinosaur book that I took apart. So here's a description of the dinosaur, and then you flip the page, and here's the picture. Here's the picture, and here's the description. I think it's really important to make this somewhat of a learning thing too. And I, I always feel that that's important. Dino, uh, dinosaur book. Go little golden book. Here's a picture from that other dinosaur book. Just some images. Here's the little golden book. Here's another page I created. And this one has a belly band and I embellished it with a dinosaur. Put a couple of these journaling cards in there. And then right in here is a pocket, and it has just some writing pages. And then on the bottom of the writing pages, I just added some dinosaur stickers. Let's see if I can get these back in. Okay. All right. Then you flip over, and there is a tuck spot right at the bottom. This was created from that mobile. That was a piece of that mobile, so I just glued it at the bottom. Here's a few more pieces of that mobile. Added them to that page, and then some journaling cards. And that's a tuck spot right there. Here's a uh, page that I distressed with alcohol sprays, and I used multiple colors on here. I used green, red, maybe some orange, and definitely brown, and I thought that came out really cool. Here's a page of that book. And then you flip it, and here's the description of that dinosaur. Same thing here. Here's the little golden book. Little golden book. Here's a page of the other dinosaur book with the description. Here's a page that I created, and it's a flip. With, uh, they can journal on either side. And right here's a pocket. Added another pocket. And here's some extra pieces from that mobile. So I put those pieces in there. They're little... Uh, dinosaurs and plants. Here's another page that I distressed and added, uh, stamped that little dinosaur down at the bottom. Little golden book page. Here's another page from that uh, dinosaur book description of this dinosaur egg. Dinosaur fossils here, these two images here. Here's the little golden book little golden book page. And here's another page that I created. Here's a pocket up here. And right in here, I added some more writing pages with dinosaur stickers at the bottom. So this, this folds out like this. So I added those two to this pocket up here. 
And then this, you know, I was trying to be really creative when I'm doing a journals for a little kids because it's fun for them to flip things out. And so I Velcroed this and I used, I think, three pieces of cardstock that were this length and then folded in half. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. And I think that that will be fun for this little boy to flip and use. Then I added some dinosaur stickers there. Flip this over, and this was the cover of the other dinosaur book. And so I just fussy cut the best I could. And then at the bottom, I have this sticker that said Roar. I thought that'd be fun. Another distressed page with the dinosaur stamped at the corner. Another page from that dinosaur book. Here's the image and then here's the description. The little golden book. This is the last page of the little golden book. Here's another envelope that I stenciled a dinosaur. And I didn't put anything in there. And then for the very last thing I added is this uh, another piece of the fabric from Dollar Tree that had all the dinosaurs. And then I laminated it. Then I added my sticker uh, created by Rosemary's You Rock Art. Then I stamped this cute little dinosaur right there in music paper. And that's what I added there. And that is all that I've done to the little golden book for this one. So this uh, is the dinosaur little golden book dinosaurs. And uh, again, this one is already purchased and I hope that they will enjoy this. All right, that is the Little Golden Book Junk Journal Dinosaurs. Uh, just to point out, I wanna show you the, the tabs. Aren't they cool? And I did leave a little bit of space between all of these and these three, I believe. I think it's three, yes. So there's three, but there's a space there so the hair tie wouldn't interfere with those tabs and mush it down. So there is how that looks on the side. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through of this little golden book, Dinosaurs. Thanks for hanging out with me for just a bit. I truly appreciate it. Be safe, be happy, be positive, and until next time, you guys rock.